Good morning, YouTube, or afternoon, I guess, or evening, night, depending on when you're watching this anyway. Um, I have a really, really big homeschool haul I wanted to share. I've been gathering stuff for, I don't, you know, several months. Um, most of that's not in this because it's already been put away <laughs> or used. But this is um, the last week, week and a half or so, I made the trips to the places I like to go the most and to get our homeschool stuff. So I thought I'd go ahead and share that. Uh, first off, I'm just going to make the apology for the kind of the quality of the video on this my my phone my normal phone it died I am a horrible horrible phone killer um, and the nicer the phone the quicker it dies on me and so I'm back to actually my husband's old phone which um, has a cracked lens <laughs> and then also uh, we just moved within the last few months and so I'm the only our homeschool room doesn't have blinds on it. It was kind of low priority. So, but this is also about the only place I could record this without it being a really big deal. And the kids kind of want to be right there and talk. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I have a lot of stuff here. So first off, I'm going to go um, show Walmart. I didn't actually get a lot from Walmart this year. Uh, just, I found, I pretty much found everything that I needed other places or that we had stuff. So I got some, Elmer's um, liquid glue. I got the purple. I thought that'd be fun. My preschooler, my older girls have never really used liquid glue much because glue sticks kind of work out for us. But I thought uh, we would do a couple projects like that with this this year. Alphabet cookie game. Um, show you the back of it. You basically draw the letters out and you have to say, I think, two words that start with the letter. And if you draw out a cookie with a bite piece, I need to lose all your pieces. We have one for blends. It's a sandwich one that my kids really like. Alphabet Bingo. That belongs over there. Excuse me. Um, construction paper. I was almost out. And then, um, full confession, I have a really big um, problem with buying dry erase markers. If I see them for a good price, I must buy them. If they have cute colors, I must buy them. I have so many. One of these days I'll do a... Um, I'll do a tour of our homeschool room because I actually have one now, or kind of anyway, and um, you'll see that it's, yeah, it's a problem. So anyway, I got a brick of markers. Uh, next, I'm going to show, we kind of had a small half price book Paul, haul. Um, I have to say, I love half price books. I love their clearance section. I also love... Goodwill. I don't have any. We did do a couple of those this summer. We went and bought a bunch of books, um, read alouds and different things, um, but those are already put away. And I, but half price books, I always go to their clearance section to look for books, unless there's something specific that I have to have. I just don't pay full price because we get really good deals. So we got James and the Giant Peach for a dollar, Rolled All the Witches for a dollar. Um, an Usborne Under the Sea book. These little science books are so great. We've got a lot of these, and my girls just love them. The pictures are so great. And I can't see very well, but there you go. That for a dollar. And then I got two Dr. Seuss books. These were $2 a piece. Again, that's a really good deal. The inside's really good shape. The outside's a little roughed up, but that's okay. Um, we have a bunch of toddler ones, and my older daughter really needs the full ones to start reading through. So we got the, there's a walk it in my pocket and hop on pop. And then Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree and Target is really where I got most of our stuff. Um, so we've got paper clips. Um, I got these um, craft bead boxes or whatever. Um, I actually have already started working on this. This is letter beads. These were mine. These didn't come with the container. That would have been cool though. So I got two of those. I got some index dividers. I got a pencil pouch for my preschooler. I got flashcards, addition, and subtraction. And so I'm actually going to be pretty flush with flashcards because I had forgotten I had gotten these and got some at Target too. I got paper, <laughs> which is a big mistake because this is a dollar. And almost the same amount was like 75, 50, 50 maybe cents at Walmart? Yeah, that, that was smart. Uh, okay, I have a magnetic holder for my pens, my markers that I have a problem with to go on our whiteboard. And then I got, let's see, let me say that later. I got some water bottles. 
Um, I actually got two packs. One already got opened up and sent. One of them got sent with my daughter to camp, which I just realized actually that did not come back with her, which is fine. That's why I got them the Dollar Tree. I got two of these jumbo pens. We're doing a writing curriculum this year that recommends the use of pens, not pencils. Buttons for Letter of the Week craft. Four cups, like pen holders for a um, for an activity. More dry erase markers, see, so told you. Again, more pens. I got a lot of, tried to get a lot of fun ones for the girls. Uh, gel pens and the click clicks, basically just like the, you know, just regular standard pen, except they're, they're fun colors. And you know, I realized I didn't buy any normal pens. That just occurred to me. No blue, no black, just colored ones. I uh, probably should go get some of those. And then I bought a bunch of hands-on kind of crafts um, for the kids to do whenever, um, you know, as a reward. I'm not really sure how I'm going to use them. Downtime, I'm not sure. But uh, I thought that would be fun to have around. So I got these two of these tissue paper crafts where you kind of punch the paper and then glue it into place and it makes the... Okay, if you can see that really. There we go. Makes the designs of Crown and Seahorse. I got two cross stitch fun, a bumblebee and a butterfly. And then I got these two um, play packs. They're pop out, so they're kind of like a cardboard um, with markers and stuff. You can color them and then play with them, I guess. Uh, My Little Pony and Eric Carl. And then let's see, come on over here to Target. Oh, and this tape is also from Dollar Tree. My kids love to play with scotch tape, so I always have to grab someone in there. All right, and then Target. Uh, first off, I was really disappointed. The two Targets that are relatively close to me really didn't have much of anything. I've been watching hauls, and I've been super excited about the stuff I was seeing, and a whole bunch of it wasn't even there. So that was kind of a bummer. But this is a... Um, Two different targets that I went to. So let's see. I want to start with stickers. So I got two packs of the like the jumbo alphabet stickers. Two packs of these almost like they're like squares uh, alphabet the 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 two, but it also comes with uh, just regular alpha uh, rainbow alphabet stickers. So those will be fun for spelling. I have a color wheel. So it's just got the clips that say the color with the color. You can clip to the wheel. Number matching. Again, just you see the picture. It's got something on it, you know, like this one here. And then you have to count them and clip the number. And then you can't see it, but at the top it actually has a sequence. We see. So like you can see that 18 and it has the blank and then 20. So you have to either count or figure out where it's supposed to be in the sequence when you clip it. I thought that was fun. Alphabet sequence puzzles. Uh, time telling time cards. So different activities. They're dry erase. It comes with a little marker. Rhyming cards. Same kind of concept as the other stuff. It's got a picture with a word, and then you have to clip the picture that rhymes with the. My camera is not focusing. I'm sorry. So bear, and then you have like nest, and I can't see what that is. But then pair, you would clip pair. Counting money puzzle cards, and they're self-correcting. And then I see, I told you I forgot that I had grabbed a subtraction cards, so I grabbed another set of subtraction flashcards. Hopefully one of them works out good. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, my preschooler is going to be doing Letter of the Week, and so we got these Ready, Set, Graffiti ABCs. So they're the ABCs where you've got the little wooden scratcher and you can scratch off any design and so when we're done with a letter every week she'll get to do that and we'll probably put them up somewhere in the room but I thought that she would really enjoy those you got word building board so it's a four letter word building board they have a three letter one they might even have I saw at one point they didn't have it the last time I went um, and then maybe a five letter I'm not sure but it's got the magnets and you can build words. I thought that'd be a really good at the very least for a fun way to do spelling where it's not just paper and pen. I got a chore chart because we're going to start doing chore charts and I've been accumulating those. I now have one for each of my girls. Uh, 
They're all different though. I got some ink pads, fall colors, that'll be fun. And then workbooks. So I got subtraction, same or different. Math concepts, which um, is like measuring shapes, things like that. I got these uh, wipe clean workbooks. They're both edition. I got one because they wear out. I've had these before. They just, you know, they fall apart. Uh, eventually they just get so dirty. It's hard to get them cleaned off. At least that's been my experience with the ones I've gotten from Dollar Tree. And so I bought two. I really should have bought one. I really should have purchased one for each of my kids, but I just got the two. So for drill practice. And then I've got my teacher planner for the year. Uh, I've looked so many places for teacher's planners. I've bought the simple plan one from Mardell. I purchased one online that I never used. I've used notebooks, but the one that was my favorite was when I purchased at Target a couple of years ago. It was a dollar. It was different. It didn't have the spiral bind. It didn't have quite as much in it. It just had the weekly lesson plan por portion, basically. But it's all blank. You can write in the week, the subjects, um, your weekly objectives, everything is blank. And that's really important for me because if I see a date and I'm off, it, I have to like redo it. It just, I can't handle it. So this has like a, this one has calendar section, which again, the other one didn't. Weekly lesson planning pages. There's some classroom planning things that will obviously not really be of interest to us. There's also some reproducibles in the back, probably not anything I'm gonna use, but student, like student awards and things. And then they also have home reading records. We might use that to track our um, read alouds and things. I'm not sure. So that was everything. And that was that was $3. I didn't say what the price was on any of this. Most of it was a dollar for the Target. A couple of things. Any of the bigger things were three, like the boards and the graffiti set. Those things were $3. I didn't get anything that was $5. That, that was all three. Everything else was a dollar. It was a great deal. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling because that's what I've done. And that was my big homeschool haul. So hopefully I'll actually get this one video posted. I think I've got like three or four videos that I filmed in the last six months or so that with moving and everything else we did, I don't think I ever posted. So if you guys see this, then it'll be great, right? <laughs> so everybody have a great day. Happy homeschooling.